Okay, so I just got done printing a, or trying to print a part on my Creality CR-10 and the cooling fan for the hot end stopped blowing and that caused the hot end to heat up and the heat break got too hot and it started to under extrude because the, the molten plug couldn't easily be retracted and pushed back in. It just started, uh, the heat affected zone got too big and it got tacky and anyways, so now, um, I am looking to replace the fan and I had a spare E3D V6 kit uh, laying around so I stole the fan out of that one and I was going to put it in the printer but I plugged it all in and it didn't spin and I was like whoa is the Creality messed up and so then I plugged in a third fan and it spun it was uh, you know one of these guys it's not the right fan but it's a 12 volt fan so I was like okay and I got my multimeter and I was getting 12 volts out at the printer and so then I started investigating, and uh, this is kind of what I found. Let's see here. So this is the fan uh, that was in it that's dead. This is, and you'll notice this sticker is the one, this is the stock E3D V6 fan. And I found that there was a cold solder joint and this ground wire was not even, it was just like barely on there and I just kind of wiggled it a little bit and it just popped right off. So I'm pretty sure this fan is fine. I just need to resolder it on. So I figured, hey, might as well show people how to potentially save one of the fans. If, you know, if they get a fan, it just doesn't work. This might be something you might want to do or this might be valuable for a project you're working on. I don't know. Um, so step one, and I've already done it to this one, but I'll show you on this one. Uh, these fans have a case, so you can see the case, and then the fan itself spins. So you want to flip it so that you're looking at the case, and then you peel this sticker up, because it will reveal a little like retention ring. Um, and you're just going to need a screwdriver, and see there's like that white little, it's like a plasticky material. You can just kind of, don't be too aggressive with it, but just you have to kind of fight with it to get it out. Come on, because that's what's holding the um, the fan blade into place. Oh my goodness! Come on. There we go. All right, it just shot behind my bench, so that's gone forever. And then you can just uh, poke the, uh, there you go. So that has a bearing, which is nice. That's a dual bearing uh, motor, which is very good. And then we have the bearing on that side, and then we have this assembly. So what we can do is we can pull the wire out and around on this side. Very good. But now, there, uh, as you see in this one, there's a spindle that's molded into this frame, and it is glued to the inner diameter of this whole uh, PCB and brushless motor assembly. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up with a heat gun and then take the, the sharp edge of the screwdriver and just kind of poke it in between the frame and work it. So I'm going to move the camera up so you can see that whole process. Take so a heat gun, and I'm just gonna kind of dangle it by the wires, and I'm gonna hit it, and uh, yeah, we just want to heat the entire. We just want to loosen the glue. We don't want to melt anything. We don't want to catch anything on fire, but we do want to break that glue loose. I'm touching it every once in a while to make sure it's not just like, okay, that's hot. Super duper hot. All right. And now we'll take the camera back down here. And we'll just start working this thing loose. The plastic is a little bit flimsy right now, so I don't want to just like do it in one go. I'm just going to kind of get my screwdriver and work it, work it, work it.
try and get this whole little PCB assembly pulled out. There we go. All right, sweet. So now we have access to the back of the uh, the PCB, so we can solder on our own wires or do heaven knows what we want to do. So, but like this one is dead. This is the one that uh, caused me great grief. So we're gonna get rid of that one, and we're going to solder. Let's see. Let's get this all back in line how we want it. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this one back together. Let's get my blue tack. We'll just gently kind of push that in there so it holds it. And I'm going to grab some flux just to kind of prep the surface, make sure this is a fantastic solder joint. No more of this cold solder bullness. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the soldering iron, make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm just gonna get a nice little solder blob on this one pad. Boom, perfect. And now I'm gonna retin this wire. All right, and now I'm gonna just tack her on while trying not to get between the camera. Boom, okay. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, so okay, one thing I am noticing is that this motor kind of does come off a little bit. Uh, I want to make sure that stays in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and doctor up that other solder joint as well. We're just gonna reflow it to make sure everything's good because if I get this all back together and then that other one pulls off, I'll be pretty a bit upset. keep knocking this off. I'm trying to be very careful not to break these enamel wires. Okay, cool. So that looks good. So let's snake this back through. I think it went, yeah, like this. And try to get the wires situated back to point uh, towards the little built-in clasp in the frame. All right, we'll push that in. Oh, man, I hope this works. We'll see. All right, we'll just leave that like that for now. Okay, so from here, we'll put the uh, back bearing in, Bloop. like that. And then we'll take and make sure that there's a bearing and there's also a spring, so that entire assembly Presses in from the front. And then I'm guessing this is going to be quite the challenge. Just make sure that bearing's seated and get this little white o ring deal. Oh, sweet. Okay. So it just presses on and it expands and clips back. It's like a C clamp or C, C ring. Cool. Okay. So let's plug this in and see if it actually spins. Let's see here. Okay. Power supply on 12 volts. I hope this is not a failure. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> yes. So I just fixed this stupid fan. I don't have to wait to ship something in. And I'll take this guy and I'll put this silly little sticker back on to make sure that clamp doesn't come off or whatever. Cool. And uh, yeah, that's how to take apart and fix one of these fans and put it back together. Hopefully, I don't know, I mean, this, pro this problem probably does not happen very often or really to warrant a video, but I figured uh, you might be wanting to pull the brushless motor mechanism out of that fan and repurpose it or whatever, and it's kind of hard to do that. So 
here's a video on a good process to pull everything out and fix it or repurpose it. All right, I'm gonna go put this new fan back in the printer and try to reprint this pod. And uh, yeah, all right, I will see you next time.